Alrighty, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a big one. We've got a big weekend ahead of us. It is Thursday evening, 4.43, and we are on our way to Brandon, aka Bam Miller's house, for this tournament weekend. We've got three days of tournament fishing coming up, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, split between two tournaments. We've got West Coast Championship, Friday and Saturday, and then we've got Yakabass, stop number seven, second to last stop of the regular season on Saturday and Sunday, and it's all on the California Delta. If you guys saw in the previous video, we spent three full days out on the Delta doing some pre-fishing, doing some scouting, and yeah, it was okay. I'd just say overall, it was like a C plus, B minus pre-fish on the Delta, but that will be the next few videos. And yes, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record, broken record right here, but this is, as of right Right now the most important tournament weekend of the year west coast championship is huge brings a lot of folks from out of state a lot of local folks it's extremely competitive maybe one of the most difficult tournaments of the year as far as the competition goes just because you're pulling so much talent in from everywhere and then of course yakabass you guys know the story we're in the lead for angler of the year not by much we've got a few dudes trailing right behind us so a solid finish is an absolute must this weekend for yakabass but yeah like i mentioned we're heading to bams i'm about four minutes out got to give him a shout for hosting the entire crew this weekend i think everyone's actually going to be getting here this evening with the exception of the coach i think he's getting here tomorrow night but yeah that's what's in store three days of tournament fishing out on the california delta it's going to be hot it's going to be a grind it's going to be a challenge i'm sure there's going to be a lot of ups and downs yeah I'm uh, not gonna lie, I'm a little uh, little nervy, a little nervy for this one. Really, really need to pull together a solid finish. That all aside, it's gonna be another great weekend. Another great fun weekend with the crew. And uh, to top it off, we get to finish. So, we're almost to BAMS. See you guys when we get there. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, okay. of course. Good to see you. Nice to see Good you. To see you. Thanks for hosting us. I'm sorry, us. I'm sweating. Yeah, yeah. Is he sleeping? He said he was really hungover this morning. Yeah. What did you guys I, do last night? Really, we didn't really do anything that much. I think he's just super tired. Yeah. I brought a coffee maker. <laughs> nice, yeah. Good spot. Yeah, there's the guest room. So we have a guest room, so we have a guest room, we have a rod building room, we got air mat. Well, I'm going to be the, the one that just takes the guest room. There you go. I'll share. Yeah, oh, good. Hey. hey, you okay? I'm so low to you. Hey, just got to do it three more days in a row. I'm going to feel like the end of like normal. You pretty much fished a two day tournament. Dude, that's why I took today off. It's also time I should have taken Monday off. Monday's gonna be first. Hi, everybody. Who are we waiting on? Just Mike, Terrence. That's it? Mike and Terrence tonight, yeah. Dutch tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. We're going to where? The VIP Pizza? VIP Pizza. Is that close? It's stuck. 30 minutes. We're gonna Uber. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I, I told you I bought a, you know, the ornament I bought for the trophy. Well, I had ordered another one and it was like out of stock. So they gave me my money back and then I bought that one. And then the other day I get home and my wife's like, what'd you order? I'm like, I don't know. And it's, it's the ornament. So it's going on the tree this year. I helped myself. Hey, no problem. I'll crawl in there. All right, All right I'll, uh, let me know if this is in the way I can take it off. Come on, Santa! Where'd that? Where was Killing that? me! Jesus, sorry, <laughs> I didn't see it. There. Oh, jeez, that's not good. Am I doing everything? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he has a trailer. That's why. That's why. All right, I'm calling an Uber. See as well. Oh, you made it, man. Yeah. Calling friends. What up? Nice. Oh, that's a weird one. Oh, you brought presents too? Pretty. Oh, hey, you. Terrence. How are you, brother? Yeah, how are you? Pretty good. How's oh, it says Brandon Miller on his boat. He put that Timer. <laughs> Drop off at VIP 
pizza. Aldi, did you fish today here? Here? Yeah, we did fish the Delta. Turn right on yeah. South Fairmont oh, Avenue. Yeah, yesterday and today. Nice, dude. All day? Yeah. Dang. Wow. <laughs> You're really going for it. How'd it go? Did you crush three, it? Three days off. Today was better than uh, yesterday. Where'd you launch? Turn In right on Los Lodi Avenue. The, the, oh, there. I told yeah. you guys. I'm going to fish the Delta. Tiki. Yesterday I launched at Lads and fish all the way around the whole port of Stockton. He's Nothing? I caught five, six inches and oh, shook dude. like a 14 on top water. Weak. Yeah, it was dead there. There wasn't a blade of grass the whole way. It's weird how the, uh, the schmur was working, huh? What? Yeah, it's what is the schmur? Is that a secret bait? Are you talking about the side <laughs> stepper? <laughs> Something like that. What? Is it called the schmur? The schmur. Pretty close to it. Wait, what, what is it? Bam, you don't get to hide secrets from the whole group. It's just, it's, it's working. If it wasn't something that Alden had going on too, I would say what it was. Sure. I have too much respect for Alden. If Bandon also had it going on, I'd share it with you. But I, I got too much respect for Bandon. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to drop shot a two inch Cinco up Sycamore and catch me a limit of rats. It probably roast all of us. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Alright, what do we got for time? This is, all right, this we is got about like 15 16 minutes. minutes. 16 minutes. Uber's gonna be here. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, right. here we are. We're on the California Delta for the West Coast Championship. West Coast Championship and also the Chris Lair. So first tournament's Friday, Saturday. Next one is Saturday, Sunday. What do we got? We got a guest with us. We got a guest tonight. Hey, 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 hey. Say what's up to the people, Anthony. What's up, Eric? What's up, Greg Launcher's followers? <laughs> <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna shout out your get a channel? You got a channel? Yeah, uh, GT Outdoors, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Right down here. And uh, fo folks at home, he, he does okay and kind of dirty. He, he does fair. No, Would you it. win seven out of eight this year? Yeah. That's, that's pretty that's fair. Yeah. Damn. Possibly. I, I'm gonna go out on a limb today. Uh, I'm gonna say this. Hottest kayak angler in California, 2023. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Easy. Very good, very good. So we invited him so we can follow him. We're just trying to <laughs> what we're doing is getting GPS coordinates. So there's going to be five. The car right now. Yeah, the car is already loaded. We yeah. know where the launch ramp yeah. is. We just got to find the actual fishing area. Now, guys, we're going to make this quick. West Coast Championship, day one tomorrow. We're just going to go over everyone's thoughts, maybe some predictions. I mean, the Delta, I mean, we've, we've all talked. We've chatted. We've done the dock talk or the pizza talk about, you know, how everyone's pre-fish is gone, how the bite is. Let's go with the guy that didn't pre-fish at all, Mike. My pre-fish went good. Um, it was a three-hour drive. I was chilling a Cinco the whole way at 65 miles per hour, which is a good bite. 65, you learned. Yeah, I was probably doing like 80. Um, no pre-fish, just going to go fish. It's going to be great. How about you, Anthony? Take notes, guys. The, the pre-fish was pretty good. I don't know. Are we going to guess? So, West Coast Championship. Yeah. We're talking so, Friday, so Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Two days. Per, per day. I'm going to say it's either going to be, I'm going to say like mid-160s or 185. Or 185. I think the winner could have 185. Wow. Wow, that's yeah. a big number there. How's your prefish go? That's like really a really good. Like, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, 185, I'll talk about this guy. <laughs> no, I mean, the Delta, I think you could catch a lot of little fish. Yeah. And if you find the right areas, the bigger fish are holding together. I think that's somebody about... could put up a pretty big bag tomorrow, and then day two's probably going to drop off a little bit. All right, Terrence, Santa. Uh, no prefish here. We're Drove down. Place. I know. Right here. Ooh, 72 um, inches. I'm gonna go like 170 ish, maybe 173, oh. 175. Optimistic. That's pretty good. Okay. Well, we'll go to uh, Bam, who's not in the tournament tomorrow. But you're not doing West Coast, right? Not doing West Coast, no. But you're doing Yakabass, which we'll talk about later. What do you think? What, what's the Delta fishing like? Uh, not particularly good. But listening to Anthony and everybody else, I feel like I'm gonna not do exceptionally well, but a little bit better than you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's all I'm hoping for, and I, and, and I just hope that works out. Like I hope you do really good. Yeah, thank but you. Just, but thank just you. not quite as like good. Like at least a 62 <laughs> inch. So, you know. I respect that, and 
the thing is, people saw the previous video, the pre-fish, three different launches, not much to show for it. I've kind of thought about this. I think that tomorrow, first day of West Coast Championship, I'm gonna go pre-fishing. Yakabess is more important to me. AOL for Yakabess, <laughs> which is Saturday, Sunday. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna try a new launch, just roll the dice. The best case scenario, it works out, I can catch some better fish, then I just utilize- stumble on them in the last yeah. hour. Yeah, utilize that. There I was skipping my hot dog under trees. It was a cheese-filled Chef Boyardee. Next thing you know, these five pounders are like fighting the, over it. I would take four that. treble the hooks sucks. in it. Anything you know about the Delta from the last three years, you might as well throw yeah. it away. In all honesty, like I think 16 inch fish, low 80s each day. I'm talking all three days. All three days, if you can get like 82 inches, I would I would take that in a heartbeat. Holly Waldy. I hope you're Mr. Sorry. Tired. He's, he's sleeping. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping yeah. today. Yeah, did uh, a couple of days of pre-fishing this week. And it's been really hot. The next three days are only supposed to be about 90 degrees for a high. So That's weird. That it could also change. Change it's things. cool now, right? I mean, I pre-fished three days this week, and my biggest fish was a 16-incher today. I'm thinking 164 inches for two days. 82 inches a day gets you right there in contention. So, Terrence, want to close her out? Yeah, West Coast Championship. Day one, tomorrow. Day one, tomorrow. Starts it off for three days of yep. tournament fishing. Cheers, guys. Good luck, Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Three nights of fun. Three nights of fun. You're here. What's up, guys? Doing great. Yeah, man. Is it gonna be uh, crazy after the open water? I think so, dude. I I, <laughs> I haven't uh, pre-fished here all week. Oh. I didn't expect this kind of wind, though. Damn. Damn, that one channel could be a little sketch if it's coming from the west. It looks like. Okay. All right, it's gonna be the one that leads back. <laughs> <laughs> this one that starts out turns around. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, guys, man, that was a wet ride. Oh, freezing, shivering. That was dicey in the dark, but we'll see if this pays off. This is a true gamble. This is ironically an area that I've never had good luck in, but it's the Delta, it's the August West Coast Championship. Might as well gamble. Six o'clock. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do, guys. Let's see what we can do. Fish. Got a bite. At least one exists over here. He's not gonna keep, dang it. Why did I think he was gonna keep? Well, whatever, it's a bite. I think I get so used to catching those like like pounder spots and they're always like 12 inches or 13 inches and largemouth, they're a little fatter, but they're shorter. Accept your length of 12.75. Relax. 
Jeez, man. Let's go. We'll take it. It's a start. It's a start. It's a start. These are little fish, that tells me there's life here, so that's, that's a big confidence boost right there. Barely. Twelve-incher. Probably a junk fishing day. Probably. I'm guessing. Fishing kind of day. There we go. A little nicer one. There's one for the scoreboard. 14 and a half. Thank you, sir. Junk fishing kind of day. Just winging it. Oh, 
and punch her. Go and punch her. All right. I mean, I say it's a cold front, but it's only going to be 90 today instead of 100. So maybe these fish are not going to be as uh, top water heavy. We're number four. some mat fish interesting yeah i might be in that stuff today it's a cold morning florida strain right get buried in the stuff be a numbers deal just trying to catch as many possible fish as you can and hope by the end of the day your five best are decent it's gonna take a big fish each day though for sure god i haven't had a big fish all practice and today would be obviously the ideal time to get a big fish Ooh. stay in the boat stay in the boat it might be number five yeah, that's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. Nope, 11 and 11 and three quarter. Oh no! Yeah? No. That's as close as it gets though. That one was just shy of 12. Right, keeper. Get in the boat. That's 12. Oh, that's a 12er. All right, we got a limit. We got a tiny, tiny limit. Barely touches 12. Crazy. Got just about near one of the smallest limits you can have out here. Interesting, both those bites right by that little grass patch. Fish are definitely gravitating towards those things. Getting bit, can't deny that. Oh. 
man, just the sheer odds running into a 14, 15 inch fish. Come on. Once I hook into a good one, as always, you catch a bunch of rats. Once you hook into a 14, 15 inch, you pretty much know immediately. I'm gonna be real excited for that moment. Incher. It will. <laughs> See, even a half inch difference, you can feel the difference. Man, 12.75. Monster. Well, I'll just have to weed through like 10 dinks to catch a keeper. good bass. Dang it. I knew that was going to happen eventually. I mean, it's nice getting bites, but if they're not the right ones, it just might not be the right thing to do. And it's just fishing the islands, the grass punching a little bit more. It's just like when you get bit, you feel like there's potential to always get that, that big one. This hasn't happened yet. I wish this wind would calm down so we could throw a top water or a frog or something. I think that's, that's a 13 incher. Man, I mean, I don't know what I gotta get rid of. I'm so bad at this. It's so focused on fishing, and when you're getting bit, you definitely don't want to submit them because they're not even worthy submission fish right now. But catch like a bajillion dinks, 12, 13 inches, kind of lose track as to what your smallest one is. we're catching today. Definitely the most fish I've caught on the delta all year. the big one and he ate it. You can tell these fish are on a munch when they're eating a frog and they're micro. Oh my god. I choked. I didn't see them. Dude, they are really 
really bite him today. Usually these little ones just punch it. They hardly ever just eat it. And this is like open water frogging. <laughs> Fun bite. Man, the way that rod bent over, you thought it was like a three, four pounder. is this tide is going to continue to drop and the areas that we're fishing right now they're going to be above water it's like very tide specific bite that we're fishing right now this trough right against the riprap on high tide of course i mean it's dropped a couple of feet since we started the day or maybe about a foot by like you know 12 o'clock one o'clock it's going to be even lower and won't even be able to fish it it's probably gonna be a little bit of a grass mat here which might be good might be able to throw the frog punch a little bit maybe weed out some of those smaller fish i i don't know I feel like I'm getting in like a trance right now, just catching fish, which is good, but also kind of blocks my thinking about how to catch a bigger fish. But man, I just, I don't know what else to do. I mean, there are potentially bigger fish on this trough. Just got to run into them. fish over here. I think I gotta get rid of a 12, I believe. That might be a good one. Or a striper. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No way. Uneventful fight ever. Pike now. Golly. Man, yeah, there's bait, right? <laughs> A lot of bait around. And those guys show up. Lucky this will touch 14 inches, but I don't know. Nah, it's a 13 and a half, I think. It's a call. It's not a very big call. 13.75. Chipping away, chipping away. That's a good one. Oh man. Come on, come on. Did not think you were that good. Yes. Yes, all right. That's the kind we need right there. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Did not think that was big at all. It's not a giant, but it's one we can take home with us at the end of the day. Okay. What, do you say? what are you gonna do for us? Sir, that's finally one of the ones we can actually have at the end of the day if we're to do good. That's so funny, I had no idea that fish was even on. Kind of swimming with the current, swimming with the trough. We'll start fishing these islands. Hopefully, some of these fish that live in the middle of them on a higher tide have moved to the outside and they're going to bite. It's usually sometimes, sometimes the best way to get a big bite.
those islands without any luck. Back to the bank, but it doesn't seem to be as productive, at least on this side. The bite window may have slowed down a bit. 12 o'clock. Man, this day, the tournament days go so fast. It's crazy. Man, man. Two hours left to fish. Golly. Rid of a 12. Well, I really got to get rid of three fish for sure. I got to get rid of a 12.75 and two 13.75s. Ideally, the three big ones, 19 inchers. That'd be beautiful if we could do that. I just don't know. Just don't know if it's going to be in the cards today. But as my friends always tease, how I seem to. On occasion, not all the time, but sometimes I stumble upon fish towards the end of the day. Maybe that'll happen today. to get one big bite. I think that's gonna be my best chance. I mean, how many fish did we catch on the chatterbait today? 30, 40, and only one was over 15 inches. We caught only a few frogfish, but one was over 15 inches. Stay on, dude. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we need that one bad. Bad, bad. Stay on, dude. There we go. We'll chop out to the rescue. Grass flat over here on low tide. Well, that's finally a sign of hope. I think that's a big fish of the day for me. And also, thank you for not being a striper. I thought it was a striper for a split second. I can't be too careful. Fifteen and a half. One eleven. Guess what, guys? I know what we're probably doing the rest of the day. Throwing a chop around this grass flat. We're way off the bank, but you can see we're in five foot of water here. Some of it's topped out. A couple more bites like that, and I might like this spot. <laughs> oh. Nope. Negative. Negative. Two. Got me excited. <laughs> All right, 
Alrighty guys, day one, West Coast Championship. First day of this three day tournament weekend is over, it's two o'clock. Yeah, I mean, we gambled today. We tried a new area, strategizing for Yakabass more so. I don't know how many times I've emphasized that, but Yakabass. Day one starts tomorrow, West Coast Championship day two. Tomorrow as well, Yakabass trumps that one for me personally, as far as trying to stay in the AOY race and lead. But as far as today's tournament, West Coast Championship day one, I took a brief look at the standings and there was some pretty good scores. I'm actually quite surprised how good some of the bags were. Not really that surprising though, because I mean, the bite today definitely seemed on, at least in this area, just wasn't around the right fish. As far as my score today, eh, you know, not too much to uh, write home about. I am happy with this decision though. I'm glad I tried somewhere new. But most likely, I'm still not 100% sure, but probably tomorrow we're gonna go to our A spot for Yakabass and just see what we can do. Hopefully get a solid 75 inches and then try to upgrade and then make a decision on Sunday. But West Coast Championship, we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna need a pretty big bag tomorrow to uh, stay in the hunt for this one. Although I'd say of all places, the Delta is one of those places where you could crack 100 inches. That's one of the exciting things about fishing in these two day tournaments, that anything can happen on any given day. So you can't uh, write yourself off just yet. Guys, that is going to conclude the first segment of this video series. Day one West Coast Championship over. I'm gonna head in, submit my photos, and then I will make my way to BAMS and we'll meet up with the crew. That's it for now, guys. As always, I thank you for watching for coming along and I will see you in the next video as we continue on with this tournament weekend for Yakabass day one and West Coast Championship day two. We'll see you then.